Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 21st. We are flying through the winter, honestly. Like, I'm shocked that it's nearly March. It's already starting to get warm. I actually got sunburnt over the weekend because I was laying on the rooftop and it was like 60 degrees. And I was like, oh, like it's kind of chilly. I'm like reading my book, whatever. And then I have a sunburn. So in Florida, winter is diminishing very quickly. I am excited to stay vlogging. I'm trying to be consistent. My mental health has been pretty good. As you can tell by my manicure that I haven't ripped off. This is from Valentine's Day. I did like little hearts and it's lasted a whole week. So I'm very proud of myself. There's only a couple fingers that are starting to like lift on the sides, but the integrity of the manicure is great. And my ability to not rip my fingernails off due to stress has been great as well. So anyway, I have been experiencing a lot of technical difficulties with editing my YouTube videos recently, which has kind of like caused a lot of delay in posting. Like my Gasparilla vlog was like nearly a month after Gasparilla happened because I couldn't get my laptop to open my editing software and my external hard drive and all the storage issues like there's like thing upon thing upon thing that was like preventing me so eventually i just like used my ipad to edit and it was miserable and painstaking but i got it done i don't really know what i'm gonna do to edit this one we'll see <laughs> i think i need to get a new laptop maybe once my tax return comes in if i get a nice tax return then i can just use that for a new mac because i got mine in 2016 right before i went to college so it's been like eight years i think which is a long time yeah um, welcome to the start of my vlog. I am in a pretty good mood today. The weather is supposed to be stunning this week. I am really hungry, so I'm gonna make breakfast. It's about 10 o'clock and work is already firing up today, so. Hey guys, drastic change since I last spoke to you. It's been like two hours, that's all. <laughs> but I did remove all of my nail polish. I kind of haven't mastered how to remove gel nail polish and I ripped up my nails and I'm really unhappy about that because I was trying to make them I was like trying to keep them healthy and long but I just don't know how to properly remove gel nail polish I should have researched better but when I would soak them with acetone I didn't know how to like peel them off my it like melted the gel like onto my nail so anyway I I'm at risk right now I'm at risk for biting them off if there's no nail polish on them so I just saw these photos in my phone but I really liked my manicure black and white nails Anyway, my nails look my nails look short and stubby in there, but I wanna like do it better, like black and white. Hey guys, still at my desk, except I put makeup on a little bit. I'm just working, watching canceled podcast, of course. And it's 3.30, today is dragging, let me tell you. Today is dragging. Welcome home. I'll just say I feel like this poppy doc pop gets a lot of hype and that's the thing with things that get a lot of hype on the internet is they never really live up to your expectations and I don't think I love the aftertaste of this it's like kind of like sour almost like a weird like I think it has apple cider vinegar in it so maybe it's that I would need it to like I would need to like read some studies on like if this actually is beneficial like how how better for you this is than regular Dr. Pepper because this is like not the same anyway you guys it's 4 30 my computer is tweaking because one of the workbooks I have open takes forever to load it's like calculating all these formulas every time I do anything if I click a different cell it starts calculating again I'm like oh my god and it's 4 34 and I just don't have the fight left in me to like care Okay, I have a few things to discuss and I think I forgot all of them. First being, it is 5.15 and I'm pretty much done with work. I set my status at away. Sometimes I like put myself at away so people think I'm gone, but then I like monitor still. It's like my anxiety talking really. But I try to be really strict with working only nine to five because a lot of people at my company work outside of hours. So I have a, a very like strong compulsion to like work later because a lot of people work late. It's just more normalized in my company, but at the end of the day, it's not really helping me. So I'm not going to. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my time for the rest of the day. I don't think I'm going to walk outside today. I might, I might, I don't know. It's so beautiful. It's so hard for me not to go on walks when it's so stunning out. But I already went on a really long walk this morning, so I don't need to go on another walk. But anyway, Brady's at the gym right now and we have 
every week we make a meal together like based on a recipe because we meal prep our food so um, we don't really cook together that often because we cook our own meals but once a week we do and it's usually on Wednesdays tonight we are cooking steak like panini kind of things with like pesto and mozzarella but in the meantime he's at the gym and I am like should I read my book should I start editing this vlog should I should I do my chores I have to put away the dishes should I try to do some other like productive like yeah like other like administrative stuff i used to always let myself read after work because i always saw reading as productive because i have like a reading goal that i'm working towards every year and i'm a really slow reader so i have to kind of put a lot of time towards it now it's getting to the point where it's like taking up my entire life and i'm not getting other stuff done such as editing my youtube vlogs i think i'm gonna have to start limiting how much I'm reading which is really unfortunate because like reading and going on walks are those things that are like really good for me and my soul and like make me a better person but I am running rampant with it and I'm not being productive in other ways because that's what I'm spending all my free time doing what I don't want to do is sit on my phone and scroll because that is such a time suck okay we're on my bookshelf now but another really big update for you guys that has happened since my last vlog is that Sarah J Mass released her latest book from Crescent City. This is the third book in the series. I posted a TikTok with all my thoughts, but it got like four views because it was like six minutes long. Actually, I don't know why, but it was six minutes long and it didn't reach the right audience. <laughs> my TikToks never do. So no worries, it's just on par for me. But anyway, I have a million thoughts on this book and I wouldn't want to put it in this vlog I would have to make a whole separate video and I might but I'm not great at book reviews anyway this book has sent me into such a tizzy that I am now rereading the entire throne of glass series because I miss reading Sarah J Mass books like I don't want to go from this to something else so I'm rereading throne of glass and then I'm gonna reread Akatar as well and I haven't read Akatar in probably four years like it's been a very long time I don't even really remember the plot all that much like there was a lot of a court of silver flames stuff relevant to this book and I didn't remember like barely any of it. So anyway, I'm very excited. I'm going back on my Sarah J Mass journey. I think I read A Court of Thorns and Roses in like 2019 or 2018. It was back when I found it simply on Amazon because I read the description and it sounded like Beauty and the Beast. And I like when books are like fairy tale adaptations. So I was like, oh, this is like a Beauty and the Beast adaptation. I ordered it and then I was obsessed with it. I actually had purchased it at a time where the second book was still hardcover and the third book hadn't been released yet. So I had to wait for the third book. I haven't read that one in forever is basically what the point of that is. And Throne of Glass I read two years ago. So it's been quite a while. There's actually characters coming up in Throne of Glass that I don't remember who they are. Like I'm reading, I'm on Air of Fire right now which is the fourth book, including the prequel. And there are people who I forgot about. So that's exciting, because it's like I'm reading it over again. I have a really bad memory with books, so. Okay, I've been chit-chatting for long enough. It's time to do something. Okay, bye. everyone happy Thursday I am sitting here it's about 8 15 before work just trying to relax I didn't work out this morning or go on a walk or anything because of how utterly exhausted I am today um, so I'm just trying to chill and have a nice little morning to myself before work and I have my fantasy ambiance music on I'll show you in a second and I have my iced coffee so there's a hawk that just flew by the window in my video and it's holding a fish Okay. Um, <laughs> that was distracting. <laughs> I am going to chill here until I have to work and I'll probably read my book, Air of Fire, because things are picking up. I just love this series so much. I'm just so hyper fixated in this moment. Happy Thursday. It's almost Friday. So grateful. All right, I've been working for a little bit. It's like 9.30, 9.40 ish. And I decided that I'm gonna set up my monitors at my desk because I haven't set them up. And I, I've lived here for like six months and they've just stayed in their boxes because I don't mind working from just my laptop. And I don't have a docking station. So it's like, I can't really use them. Um, but I'm gonna take them out of the boxes and give myself the opportunity. Hello guys, I'm about to use my walking pad for the first time in a really long time. So let's kick it off together. Woohoo! 
here we go. I've had um, a relatively busy morning, but I feel like not a lot's getting done, but I feel like I'm constantly on a phone call with someone. So I love being on phone calls that don't result in a product that I can present. So that's good. Good use of my time. Good use of my time. I am about to paint my nails. I have like, it's 4.33, so I'm just like monitoring, honestly, my emails at this point. Pretty uneventful work day, which I am so grateful for. She did them pretty quickly. Actually, that took me 40 minutes. So, okay, right on time. Anyway, I don't really know. I don't like regret painting in this color, but I'm like, why did I do like black and white? Like, I know that, I know why. Like, I had that photo and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Black, I feel like they're just really harsh. Like, this is like Halloween, like punk rock. Like, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna log off work. I did get a message from someone. I was like kind of like assisting him. He's like new to our team, showing him like something, how to do something that our manager was asking for. And I was like, this is what I would do. Like we got on a call at like 10 a.m. this morning for like 30, 40 minutes. And I was like, these are like, this is yours. Like do what you want, but like this is how I would approach it kind of thing. And he was like, okay, okay. Like I'll make these adjustments and like run it by you before I send it off to her. And I was like, okay. And then at literally like 4.50, He's like, hey, I'm about to start like working on the changes and I'll like send it over to you before I send it to our manager. And I was like, I am actually about to log off for the day. Like I, I feel guilty because I know he wants to send it today. And this is like one of those things that I like have really tried to rationalize with myself since I've been working full time. But like I am working on my schedule as much as I can and because like they didn't do it earlier in the day i don't need to stay later to like help them if that makes sense like i feel guilty for logging off because i know that's gonna like hold up what he when he wants to get it to our manager but like with all due respect that's not my problem kind of thing you know i harbor a lot of guilt for things like that i think that's pretty common a lot of people probably feel the same way but i'm trying to be really firm with my boundaries as much as i can within reason of course like there's always reasons to stay later, you know, for important things, but this is not one of them. I feel like if I keep making exceptions, then that's just gonna be the expectation, so. All right, I just shut down my shop. So I am alone until, for the next like two and a half hours, because Brady works until seven, and then he has to commute home. So sometimes I like being home alone, because living with a partner, you don't really get as much alone time, and I have always valued my alone time. Not that I, I love when he's around, but I also love having time to myself and like having the house to myself is really nice. And I know it sounds weird because like I work from home and I'm alone most of the day, but I don't really, it's not my time. Like I don't really get that time to myself. So that's like the time that the company pays me for. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I actually do. Well, I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm kind of hungry. My meals were really weird today. Like I just had some toast and eggs and then I had some like chips and let me show you. This is just a container that I'm using, um, but I put French onion powder and Greek yogurt in this and then mix it up, and it's so good. You're supposed to put sour cream with the French onion powder, but I just use Greek yogurt and it's literally delicious and so much more protein. These are the ingredients I use. This is just non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. Is it non-fat? This has 18 grams of protein per serving. A serving is two thirds a cup. Not that that matters. Anyway, I just do this and then this and then mix it up in here and it's delicious. And I bought carrots to dip it in, but I had some with chips. Anyway, so that's really all I've eaten today. So I wanna eat a smoothie and then I'll eat dinner when Brady comes home and we'll eat together. Um, and I'll show you what I've been eating for dinner. Oh my God, I've been eating this for three weeks now. It is my latest hyperfixation. It is so good. And heat it up a little faster. And then I got this little organizer from Amazon, oh. guys. But I'm gonna. I think I need to wash my Keurig. I think I'm gonna wash the dishes that are in the sink. There's only a couple. Maybe wipe the counters down. I don't have a whole lot of chores to do. I could fold the laundry, but I'm not going to. 
for sure not gonna do that something that i have been wanting to do for weeks is i bought these canvases i have two of these these are 24 inches by 36 i got two that i want to hang up in the bedroom and then i also i also have one that's giant that i want to hang up i'm hiding it back here that I want to hang up above our couch right there. But the issue is I have no inspiration whatsoever. I'm the furthest from inspired right now that I've ever been. Um, so I don't know what I want to paint. So I keep thinking, oh, I need to paint. Oh, I need to paint. But I never know what to paint. Hi guys, I just edited everything I filmed for this vlog so far. So I'm really proud of myself for that. I just did like a rough cut. But Brady's on his way home. He's gonna be home in like two minutes. <laughs> So I'm going to start assembling my dinner and I'll probably heat up his dinner because I'm really nice and sweet. I also washed our Keurig because I got Brady these pods that he can put his own grounds in for Valentine's Day. So we haven't used this in months. So I thought it needed a nice clean. The time really flies outside of work hours, unfortunately. Sorry if you can hear the microwave, you're right underneath it. But the meal that I've been making this week and the past two weeks is like Greek inspired, like Mediterranean bowls, like kind of like kava at home. Why? I did use my walking pad. Oh, I first days in advance. Hello everyone. It is Friday. Happy Friday. I'm having a good Friday so far. I'm in a good mood except for People at work pissing me off again. I just need to let it roll off me because it doesn't matter. But anyway, I had a nice little full body workout this morning and I also went to Starbucks after my workout um, and the weather outside. Oh my God, it's so nice. I think it's supposed to rain today. Like it showed wind and rain. Anyway, just wanted to say hello. I think I actually, I think Brady and I are going to Universal tomorrow. So I'll probably bring you along. This might be a long vlog because I, edited it yesterday and it's already at like 20 minutes. I'm just gonna work. I have a couple of meetings that I need to take part in and then and then that's it. I don't think we're doing anything tonight. I think Brady and I are just gonna stay home tonight um, because we're gonna leave probably pretty early to get to Orlando tomorrow, but at least you get to see what it looks like a week in my life of working or a few days in my life of working and uh, it's really boring. I haven't left my house in days other than going to Starbucks this morning. So that's what happens when you work from home, I guess. Oh my goodness, it's 5.22 and I just finished work on a Friday. I should be done at work on a Friday at like four o'clock, in my opinion. Like, I shouldn't be working the last hour of the day. But no, oh, I get so many random pings from people coming out of the woodworks who I haven't worked with in months. Hey, Kaylee, how quickly can you get me this? I'm like, on a Friday? What What do you mean, how quickly can I get you this? Luckily, I had actually pulled it earlier that week. Someone else from that I worked with literally in November was like, hey, can you explain this thing to me that you sent me in November? I'm like, in November? Okay, like... I barely remember it. I was sitting there looking at it. He was like, what is XYZ? Like, what is this showing? And I was like, I give me one minute to buffer and then I can give you an answer. Cause like, I haven't looked at this data in forever. But anyway, I have been chained to my desk for a long time. So, oh my God, I feel like so fatigued. And I, I hate, cause a lot of people at my company work on the West coast. So like when they were pinging me for stuff, it was like lunchtime their time. So like, I'm like, okay, I'm getting ready to wrap up my day, but you're asking me for stuff. How soon can you get this to me at your lunchtime? So I'm like, I guess that's fine. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go on a walk. I think Brady's on his way home. I did a lot of laundry while I was working. Our sheets are in the dryer right now. And then all of our clothes, I just threw onto the couch. Cause if I throw them on the couch, I have to fold them or else I can't sit down. Even though like there's all that space, but like, this will bother me. If I'm like sitting here and looking at this, I'll just be folding it, so.
is 9.30 exactly on the dot. And Brady and I are about to drive over to Orlando to go to Universal for the day. But it's a beautiful day. I'm actually really excited to get outside. Not a single cloud in sight. And it's 64 degrees. So I might be a little cold, but probably not like with the sun. We made it to Universal. It is the most beautiful day of all time. Really breezy, not a cloud in the sky. We're about to go check out, they have some Mardi Gras like food stalls that aren't always around. So we're gonna check out some food and eat at those. So we'll see what we get. What do you think? It's very good, but it burned the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, I got chilaquiles. I thought chilaquiles usually had eggs on them. Mm. For some reason I was thinking... But it is literally, I can't even get over how beautiful it is today. I got this drink called the Bird of Paradise at, what is that place called? The Watering Hole? I always forget. <laughs> um, in Jurassic Park. I don't remember what's in it. Should I look it up? In this drink. Oh my god, I had a dream last night that I got stung by a bee. Where? On my thingy. Wow. Right? No, but I remember being really scared because it was like, I've never been stung before. What if I'm allergic? Oh. I wasn't. Anyway. <laughs> Birds of Paradise at a whopping $18.75. Has coconut rum, peach schnapps, cranberry juice. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you think I'm already boozing? Okay, this one Birds of Paradise, $18.75. Malibu passion fruit rum, Cruzan rum, Orgiat syrup, bitters, passion fruit, and lime juice. Why did I get this one? Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I got this one. He said there's a floater. He warned me, if you try to drink it, you're just gonna get straight rum. I was like, thank you so much for telling me. Oh, it's delicious. Tastes like rum. Tastes like fruity rum. If you could think about what this would taste like, you'd be right. You know what Orgiat is? Okay. Once you blow air out of your nose and blow the coke out. Really? You did that too when you <laughs> drank it? You should try the beignets. It's rather so strong. It. I'd like to try one. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. They said there were six. I lied. I didn't know how many there were. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That is good. Mm. It tastes like a really good powdered donut. Dessert. Does. Want one? No, I had Mickey shape on the French border. Sorry, Mom. You're dismissed. We just left Universal, and I had a fabulous day. I, mean, I didn't ride any rides. Um, at this point, we go so often that like waiting in line for the rides is just not something we want to do when it's crowded. But what I did do is get a bag of candy. I can show you what I, some of the pieces that I got. Brady yeah, got this crocodile. I'll take it. Yeah. Funny you're red. Yeah, but you can tell it's old. It's <gasps> starting to fall apart. Oh my god, can I try? To touch it. Just touch the tummy. No, you're supposed to touch the tummy. Okay, sorry guys. My camera freaked out. Anyway, we're zooming now from the highway. I also have, for me, um, what are these called? Sour Patch Watermelon? Ah! So yum. Do you want one? <laughs> my friend. Mmm! Anyway, we're gonna ride home. I'll probably snack on some of my candy. And... I'll probably see you tomorrow.